Uh, so good morning, students. I'm Damika Dorevat, and I'll be the lecturer for IELTS at AIBS. Uh, so today uh, we are not doing any lessons, but will be a brief introductory session uh, to uh, give you an idea of what IELTS is, right? Uh, So I would really love if you ask me any questions uh, uh, when the lecture is going on, uh, if you uh, about how to book the test and uh, the band scores or anything. Uh, let's see uh, the structure of the exam first. Yes, you know that IELTS is an English exam, right? Uh, so, in a, it's a proficiency test. So, there is no particular syllabus to be covered like you learn in uh, science or maths. In, like in, in at school, you learn science or maths according to a curriculum. But here, uh, there is no particular syllabus. It assesses your overall proficiency level. So... Uh, they give band scores and different universities so for uh, migration purposes they ask for band scores so if you go for a first degree it would uh, be a 6.5 like that uh, uh, it varies from university to university or college to college or a degree program to program right uh, so as you all know since uh, since it's been a proficiency test it assesses all of all your uh, uh, all the skills in a language namely listening reading writing and speaking so in IELTS exam when you go to the exam room the first test will be listening right the first test will be listening and in, a, in the listening test, I'm going to show you a paper. Yes. Yes, in the listening test, what happens is you are given headphones, wireless headphones in the exam room. Uh, then you will be listening to rec some recordings and while listening, you have to answer the given booklet, right? So this is a full listening paper. There are 40 questions. You are not supposed to write long answers. You know that while listening, you are answering, so multitasking. Uh, there are 40 questions all together, but uh, uh, you are given some time to read the questions and you can do any rough work in the paper while listening, like underlining, circling, anything you can do because uh, the examiners are not going to mark you a booklet because you are going to transfer all these answers to another answer sheet, right? So in the paper, you can uh, do rough work as well if you need. So there are four parts altogether. Here, 40 questions. To obtain uh, the band 6.5, you should have scored, uh, you should have answered 26 questions correctly out of 40 questions right then uh, do you have any questions about listening like what type of uh, topics would cover in the uh, test or anything 
you have any questions about the listening paper uh let's see our students yes so in part 1 in listening paper you are listening to a dialogue dialogue means you know only two people will be talking right so uh, for example let's say two friends are discussing about a birthday party right like that or you are calling a college or university to get some information about a course like that. so it's a telephone conversation being a dialogue uh, then part 2 it will be a monologue monologue means only one person will be talking for example let's say a tourist guide is uh, describing a museum to his gathering or could be a radio show only one person will be talking then part 3 part 3 will be a discussion this is uh, set in an academic environment right for example some of some students are discussing about their project or a presentation or a tutor is discussing a, a revision lesson with uh, some students so two to four speakers will be involved in this discussion then part 4 part 4 will be a lecture this like the topics would be uh, understandable to anybody because all the uh, top, uh, topics are from different fields it could be the lectures from management or science or anything but anybody can understand and answer the questions because all the answers are located in the recording right here they do not test our knowledge about any topic this is a listening test this assesses whether you can listen to english and understand right okay then uh may i know uh whether we have any students uh who are going to do general module you know in ielts exam there are two modules academic and general training academic module is required when you uh, apply for degrees for academic purposes to study in overseas general training would be required if you uh, go for migration uh, alan do we have any students who uh, wish to do general training uh no miss doriota or who academy okay thank you right. uh yes right thank you so uh, what i wanted to say the listening paper is similar to uh, is the listening paper is the same for both academic and general modules also the speaking module which is the same for both academic and general training there are slight changes in reading paper and writing paper uh for both of these modules but uh, they are not no big differences right then let's go to uh yes students do you have any questions about listening paper if you have please tell me i'd love to answer i can't see your face here so do not go forward with doubts if you have any questions madam this is ielts exam paper yes yeah this is a past paper i extracted the paper from one of the latest uh, cambridge series ielts 15 book test 1 yes i think dipuli had a question so uh, let's have a um mm -hmm. miss uh, miss if i do computer based exam uh, how will be the listening test work yeah uh you have to type the answers for the oh, you have to okay. type the answers okay thank you so much miss okay uh, any questions yes let's go to look at our reading paper uh 
So I'm going to show you a paper. So do, uh, uh, you will see very big, big passages, but you should not worry because there are techniques that we have to follow when doing this exam. Uh, reading paper. Reading paper uh, is for one now and there are three passages right here. Reading passage one, passage two, and passage three. Let's go scroll down. Yes. Here too, there are 40 questions all together. Eight long answers, only short answers. Maximum number of words will be three words, and they give that in instructions. Right? Then let's go to the beginning of the paper. I told you that we have to spend only one hour to complete all 40 questions based on these three big passages. And there, Time management is a must. They give us instructions such as here, reading passage 1. You should spend about 20 minutes on question 1 to 13, which are based on reading passage 1 below. Then they give a passage. And what I instruct my students, do not read the passage first. We have to start reading from the questions and especially read the instruction. They, they have highlighted the keywords of the instructions given here, choose one word only from the passage for each answer. Right? Write your answers in boxes one to four on your answer sheet. You are given a separate answer sheet for uh, reading paper two, like you get one in uh, the listening test. Right? In listening test, you are given some. You are given 10 minutes to get the instruction again. In listening test, you are given additional time to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. But in reading paper, you have only one hour, no additional time to transfer your answers. So it is my advice you to write the answers at once in your answer sheet so that you can save up your time. Right? Otherwise, if you think that even a second is really precious, when we do this reading paper. So you can do any rough work in the reading paper. The re reading paper as well. Examiners will not check these papers. They check only your answer sheets. So transferring should be very, uh, transferring should be very carefully done. So these questions, even, even these topics are uh, generally understandable to any audience. You know IELTS test is done by not only college students like you, but also doctors, engineers who wish to migrate. So the topics are general topics. All the answers are there. So it is our duty to practice the techniques and go for the exam, right? And some people say that they are very difficult, that you come across difficult passages, difficult English. Uh, I don't say that it is difficult, but it's challenging. You don't get uh, English like Shakespearean English in IELTS exam. They are just the, the general English, but they assess whether we can read and comprehend, read and understand English, right? And Yes, I want your questions now. Do you have any questions? Um, yes. Computer-based uh, exam, it's the same thing. We need to type. Type, yes. We need to type. Yes. You, you have to type, yes. You have to type. And okay. you... Uh, okay. By, uh, from, yeah, from... Uh, ielts.org 
there is a website you can uh, if you are free today after class you can just uh, google and um, uh, take some practice materials to have a look there is a website that they have given us ielts.org you can uh, have some practice materials for this computer delivered exam right no. okay thank you miss any other question yes let's uh, go to writing paper uh, remember uh, on the exam date you do uh, uh, first three tests at a stretch no breaks uh, you first get the listening paper it is for 30 minutes plus 10 additional minutes to transfer your answers then you get the reading paper it's for one hour and after that you get the uh, writing paper it's again for one hour no breaks right so in writing paper you have two tasks to be completed in one hour in an hour task 1 is to write summary or let's say a small report uh, so this task 1 is based on a given visual information it could be a bar graph pie chart uh, maybe a line graph or a picture diagram so what we have to do is to summarize the given information by selecting and reporting the main features and we can make comparisons if necessary here you can see a past paper writing task 1 you should spend about 20 minutes on this task right so i'll be teaching you how to write this using academic english how to summarize this the structures and different types of charts that we get and writing task 2 is to write an essay you should spend about 40 minutes on this task so here actually time management is a must in ielts because if you exceed your time in the summary or in this task 1 uh, i think you cannot produce a good essay for this essay we have to uh, uh, use uh, use up this uh, given 40 minutes fully right and these essay topics are again i must say uh, they are general topics right there is no particular field or uh, subject area uh, that we could get topics they are general topics right and i will tell you how to organize the essay how to generate ideas right and uh, how you can present these ideas in academic style right in the lessons you can have a look at this question you should spend about 40 minutes on this task write about the following topic so this is about uh, owning a home right yes about writing do you have any questions students just ask right yes let's go to the speaking um uh, if i have one question will they check grammar of course there are some criteria there are four criteria on which your writing is marked right grammar is checked in 
writing paper also uh, not only grammar vocabulary task achievement whether you have uh, addressed the question uh, not only in writing in listening and reading too they will check your spelling right if you do the exam on computer delivered way again you cannot use spell checkers or grammar checkers like you type in your computer uh, so they will use the same criteria to mark your uh, answer scripts there then speaking exam i told you that oh, there is another question let's say my grammar is poor rather than comparing with others ever oh yes i must say this grammar is checked in ielts exam but remember uh, as a teacher i can give you feedbacks individually but uh, we are not teaching grammar or tenses like in a general english class right uh, but since you address everybody individually right you know uh, the feedback will not be given in front of others because everybody's level is different so i uh, uh, when i am giving you in uh, your feedback individually then it is your responsibility to improve what the teacher says so i so and uh, what to do well, the, maybe i will recommend you some websites or grammar books please go through this then do these exercises then you should follow maybe you have to work more than other students another student may be weaker in speaking so what to do what to be improved then get the feedback from the teacher getting feedback is will not be sufficient unless you do what she recommends right yes if you have any questions madam this is yes yes speak i can hear you went muted again someone was asking a question please ask madam this is minus marks paper sorry this is minus marks paper minus marks yes yes grammar mistakes ah uh, ah uh, no ah uh, uh, grammar mistakes uh, for writing uh, no minus marks but we have uh, band descriptors wait i'll show you yes can you see this paper the task 2 let's say band descriptors uh, given by british council uh let's say uh, these are the criteria on which your writing is assessed for essay let's say uh, to obtain band 6 
here task response addresses all parts of the task although some parts may be more fully covered than others present a relevant position although the conclusions may become unclear or repetitive you can see there is a difference in band 6 and band 7 band 7 addresses all parts of the task but band 6 students addresses all parts of the task although some parts may be more fully covered than others not all it means and let's compare grammar in a band 7 answer script uses a variety of complex structures uses a variety of complex structures means a complex sentences uh correctly produces frequent error free sentences error free no mistakes at all has a good has good control of grammar and punctuation but may make a few errors even in band 7 band 6 in a band 6 answer script uses a mix of simple and complex sentence forms so there is a difference no minus marks as you asked to the but the band will vary that you get okay and may, uh, in a band 6 answer script again make some errors in grammar and punctuation but they rarely reduce uh, really reduce communication it though uh, you get band 6 Uh, you have some errors but these errors do not disturb what you are what you are going to do not disturb what you were trying to convey so you still get band 6 okay there is another question is it clear was it clear to you no minus marks but your band will vary okay madam thank you madam okay Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to the, the band description, is it possible to access us uh, through the online website of the BC, or would you produce this to us in material? I I didn't get you. Uh, this band description. I mean, the the thing mm -hmm. that we have shared in our page. Now. Yes. Uh, is it possible for us to access it through the online in the British Council website, or do do we have to get it from there? No, this is available. This is the public version. Anybody can download this, uh, even from British Council website, or just if you just Google, you can take this. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, any questions if you have about uh, writing then uh, let's talk about the speaking test speaking test uh, will not be held on the exam date right it will be uh, held separately on another given date at a particular time given to you right they will uh, email you and uh, text you the te test venue and the timing uh, so this speaking test uh, could be before or after your ielts exam within a week anyway right some candidates get the speaking test before your test date or some uh, may get after the test and anyway speaking test is uh not very long like other uh test you know that uh, listening test uh, was for 40 minutes all together writing reading and writing for one hour but speaking test uh lasts only for 14 minutes maximum right it is uh eleven to fourteen minutes, but remember that during that 
small duration you have to show you have to exhibit that you can speak in speak in english in an english environment especially right so that is one of the four skills like you do a big paper for reading the this is smaller but uh, we should think that it is one of the four skills right uh, then uh, in the speaking exam i will show you a speaking room i am speaking exam only you and your examiner will be in the room uh, and these examiners some students ask me are they foreign examiners or local examiners uh, both could be right but remember they cannot ask questions that they like they have to uh, strictly uh, adhere to the speaking questions that the university of cambridge sends them right they ask the questions that they get from the university they cannot set any questions uniquely to you let me share you this I helped someone. I helped. I so you asked me to describe a time when you when I helped someone. I helped Eileen, uh, who is my best friend in Ankara. Uh, I helped her actually last year because she was very sick and ill and she has nobody at home to help her and she called me and she asked me if I can help her so I went to her home and she was very ill she got a high temperature and yes, she is patient uh, to her but she uh, one of the speaking tests that was held by uh official cambridge uh so i know the questions that you have what could be the questions right what could be the questions let's see uh there are actually three parts in your speaking exam part one they ask questions which are familiar to you familiar topics uh, for example what are the familiar topics to yourself maybe about yourself your studies family country uh, maybe your favorite food hobbies uh, birthday parties those things right they are very simple to answer they will be the questions in part 1 then in part 2 they give a small topic to talk about 
also they give one minutes time to prepare you can make notes right so in a class i will practice you making notes also they never check what you wrote but uh, it's better for us to be prepared before talking right so we will practice those in class uh, and you have to talk for up to 2 minutes after preparing then again in part 3 they ask some it it is more like a discussion with you and the, between you and the examiner uh, they will ask some questions uh, be, uh, on the same theme you talked in part 2 right then let's see that paper for some questions yes part 1 remember you are not given a question paper there i'm just showing this to get an idea what type of questions we might get here some part 1 question it's about email what kind of emails do you receive about your work or studies so you can see they are very simple questions but i will tell you not to give short answers even though the questions are very simple right what kinds of emails do you receive about your work or studies you may give different answers but no short uh, let's ask this question from one of the two students student to answer this please who's mm. uh, niman sir niman sir yes madam okay will you please answer what kinds of emails do you receive about your work or studies this is not your ielts exam just asking <laughs> uh, yeah yeah um uh, do i have to say like a good morning or uh, no, nothing, i mean the nothing nothing, nothing, right? nothing nothing yes okay this is very casual yes okay thank you Many Yes. No. Normally, when I started my work, I got my uh, emails through my boss and HR department and administration yes. department. So those emails I have to categorize in my uh, inbox. So because I am yes. using Outlook. So mm -hmm. first, I am giving to priority to my managing directors' email sections. So in that, I have to note down all the emails. Then I okay. go to one by one. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Niman, another question. Do you prefer to email, phone, or text your friends? Mobile phone. Okay. Do you prefer to uh, call them? Yeah, no, the email no, 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 and no. texting, right? No. What do you like? What do you prefer? Uh, do you prefer to email? Uh, sorry, phone I thought, or text? Uh, Sorry, I thought yeah, you are. Yeah, second round, second round. Yeah, second no, round. No, that's all right. Yeah, okay. that's all right. Do you prefer to email, phone, or text your friends? Hmm. Madam, I prefer to friends. phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I Why? prefer to phone because it's because it's uh, free to feel to contact with them. Uh, okay. Yes, very good. So thank you very much. Without any preparation, you got the challenge. Just uh, I pick your name from the list here, right? Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Okay. Yes, uh, that's how they are. Uh, did you see no preparation time for part one? Uh, they are just casual questions. So my students ask me uh, um, whether they can tell lies in the exam. Uh, actually uh, you can create answers right but uh, personally uh, i uh, personally it is comfortable if you tell the truth right uh, for example if you do not know an answer what to say for example let's say uh, can you describe your neighbor to me 
then you don't know anything about your neighbor then what to say right so you tell that they don't come and see whether your neighbor is in this way so you can say i'm afraid that i don't know much about my neighbor because we came to this apartment or house uh recently so i haven't uh, met my neighbor yet oh on the other hand i go to work in the morning uh, but my neighbor i've seen uh, uh, that lady goes to work in the evening so we don't see very often something like that you tell the truth so you can speak english we seek whether you can speak or not right okay and part 2 here describe a hotel that you know you should say where this hotel is what this hotel looks like what facilities this hotel has and explain whether you think this is a nice hotel to stay in so these are just smaller questions so you are given one minute to prepare you are given a pencil and paper to make notes while talking you can look at your topic card and the notes you prepared and you have to talk for up to 2 minutes that's the task after that in part 3 you have uh, some discussion topics or discussion questions in the same theme which you talked but not about your topic for example describe a hotel that you know so you were dis- describing a hotel that you recently booked right or that you like uh you give the name of the hotel where it's located uh, everything so part three questions are not about that hotel He, these are hotels in general or here the topic is staying in hotels what things are important when people are choosing a hotel like that why do some people not like staying in hotels do you think staying in a luxury hotel is a waste of money like that they are general topics right here you will not talk about your personal experiences right then that's how it goes uh now i i am going to uh yeah in about speaking i didn't ask if you have any questions please ask me now yes yes uh can i move on to the next part yes madam yes okay now uh we are going to do a small listening activity this is from a past paper not not a full paper the section 1 uh we are just trying we are, right let's see whether you can understand the instructions accent right let's see can you please write down numbers from 1 to 10 in your notebook or in a uh piece of paper that you have please write numbers from 1 to 10 hope you can see this blush by cambridge self drive tours in the usa an example is given uh, but from uh, last year onwards they do not give an example but uh, uh, let's see this you can do this Cambridge English IELTS 
published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge English Language Assessment, 2015. This recording is copyright. CD1 Test 1 You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Yes, how was it? Can you understand the accent? That's how yes. you will hear the instructions. Yes, yes let's go. Yes. Okay. Section one. You will hear a telephone conversation between a travel agent and a customer. Yes, did you read the instructions there? Write one word for uh, uh, each answer. So you will use only one word, right? Let's go. First, you have some time to look at questions one to six. You have to read the questions from one to six first. So here I am showing you only one to six here. You have to read everything. If you do the exam uh, on paper based, uh, you can underline the keywords if you think uh, which are important to you. Right? Let's go. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning, World Tours. My name is Jamie. How can I help you? Good morning. I want some information on self-drive tours in the USA. Could you send me a brochure? Of course. Could I have your name, please? Andrea Brown. The customer's name is Andrea Brown, so Brown has been written in the space. Okay, so they gave an example, but as I told you, now they do not uh, give an example, so you should not expect an example in the exam, in your exam, right? Recently they have changed this, so we will listen to the recording fully they will not play that example part now please ready to write answers first answer will be you know it's an address maybe a name of a road we can see that and the postcode is given so all this untested information like postcode they have given but in the conversation they will talk about this phone number they have given right heard about company from from where she got information about this company Right. Uh, let's see. Possible self-drive tours, trip one, trip two. Right. So this is about trips. Uh, first uh, bullet point number three. Los Angeles customer wants to visit some some blank parks. So we know that a kind of park, a kind of parks, uh, will be the answer with her children. Then. Uh, your seamate park customer wants to stay in a lodge, not a maybe a place again. Trip two customer wants to see the see something could be singular plural because the is there on the way to uh, Cambria. Then interested in shopping. Last one wants to spend time on the again. A noun should come, right? Either singular or plural. The is there. Okay, let's go. Listen carefully. In the IELTS test, 
the recordings will not be played twice okay now we shall begin you should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 6 good morning world tours my name is jamie how can i help you good morning i want some information on self drive tours in the usa could you send me a brochure of course could i have your name please andrea brown thank you and your address 24 Audrey is a mobile all right fine it's 0778664309 thank you and can i ask you where you heard about world tours from a friend or did you see an advert somewhere no i read about you in the newspaper okay i'll get the brochures and the post to you but can i give you some information over the phone uh, what kinds of things do you want to do on your holiday i'm interested in going to california with my family I've got two children and we want to hire a car. Okay. We have a couple of self-drive tours there visiting different places of interest in California. The first one begins in Los Angeles and there's plenty of time to visit some of the theme parks there. Ah, oh, that's something on my children's list, so I'd want to include that. <laughs> Good. Uh, then you drive to San Francisco. From San Francisco, you can drive to Yosemite Park where you spend a couple of nights. You can choose to stay in a lodge or on the campsite. I don't like the idea of staying in a tent. It would be too hot. Right. And the tour ends in Las Vegas. Okay. The other trip we can arrange is slightly different. It starts in San Francisco, then you drive south to Cambria. Someone told me there's a really nice castle near Cambria. Will we go near that? Hurst Castle is on that road, so you could stop there. Good. I'd like to do that. Does this trip also go into the desert? No, it continues to Santa Monica where most people like to stop and do some shopping. We have enough of that at home so that doesn't interest us. <laughs> okay. Well, you could go straight on to San Diego. That's good for beaches, isn't it? That's right. That's a good place to relax and your children might like to visit the zoo before flying home. Now, I don't think so. We want some time for sunbathing and swimming. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions seven to ten. Then seven to ten, you can read the questions. Look at the instructions. One word and not a number. You are going to complete the table. Complete the table below. Write one word and or a number, right? Or a number of days, twelve days, total distance. So you know, kilometers is given. A number would be an answer. Price includes accommodation, car, one something. Trip two again. A price should be written. Includes accommodation, car, and something. Okay, let's go. Now listen and answer questions 7 to 10. So, how many days are the trips and how much do they cost? The first one I told you about is a self-drive tour through California which lasts 12 days and covers 2020 kilometers. The shortest journey is 206 kilometers and the longest is 632 kilometers. The cost is 525 pounds per person. That includes accommodation, car rental and a flight, but no meals. Okay. And the other trip? That lasts 9 days, but you spend only 3 days on the road. You cover about 980 kilometers altogether. So is that cheaper then? Yes, it's almost 100 pounds cheaper. It's 429 pounds per person, which is a good deal. 
So that covers accommodation and car hire. What about flights? They aren't included, but these hotels offer dinner in the price. OK. Well, thank you very much. I'll be in touch when I've had a chance to look at the brochure. I'm pleased to help. Goodbye. Goodbye. That is the end of Section 1. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Okay, uh, so don't worry that you couldn't answer and uh, this is the first time and without any tips only you started this, right? Uh, let's see the answers anyway. So I'm not going to ask the answers. You can type into the chat box if you like. If someone wants to share the marks out of 10, you can type into the chat box. If you, if someone feels really uh, motivated, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Uh, with regard to these ten answers, I answer for all ten, but uh, when it comes to the first answer, my spelling is mistake. So would it that would that be counted? It is, yeah, because it, it, uh, they spelled it right. First answer. Uh, uh, so, uh, I, yeah, I missed one letter. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. That's all right. Uh, so, we have to be careful when we listen to like R, A, A, A E, I, right? And if you uh, remember when, uh, yeah. Yeah, when they give numbers uh, for zero, they say in British English, no, 077. Seven. So, in Sri Lanka, we might use zero double seven or not seven seven. They would also be heard at the same time. They say O oh, seven seven O oh, for the zero, right? Uh, that was my next question, ma'am. When we talk, even do we have to use that accent, or is it possible for us to use our own for your speaking test? Yes, you mean, uh, yeah, no, we, we, we know that uh, uh, we speak Sri Lankan English, right? But the thing is, yeah, not the accent, but your pronunciation. Pronunciation should be correct, not the accent. Because we shouldn't want to, uh, we shouldn't uh, imitate uh, foreign accent. We should speak Sri Lankan English, but your pronunciation okay. should be correct. You, whatever you speak should be understandable to native speakers. That's the theory. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hello, ma'am. Yes. Uh, can I know about uh, things uh, we had before? Uh, uh, are they uh, concerned about the spellings? The spelling for listening activity that we yeah, just yeah. done. Yes, for spelling, yes, yes. In listening to, they look for spelling, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, then that is a general introduction about IELTS that I hope to do today. So... We hope to see you sooner in a class. And Alan, do you want to speak something to the students? So I'm going to wind up the session. Yeah, so I would like to thank everyone for joining. So I wish you all also will register with us and continue classes.
that's all for it okay thank you alan and thank you my stars everybody for joining today thank you so much madam very useful okay. meeting thank you okay goodbye hope to see you at, uh, very soon in a class